Well, hello, pool fans, and thank you very much for being with us. Welcome to the Simonis Aramith Arena and the 2019 International Nine Ball Championship Open. The Sheraton Norfolk Waterside is our host hotel once again, and Diamond Billiard Products is our official table of the International Nine Ball Open. We just begun, we're in day number one. This is our third match, our last match of the afternoon session. We'll be back at 6.30 Eastern time for the evening session. Let's not make you wait any longer. Let's introduce our two competitors for this 2.30 match. Our first player is from the United States of America. And ladies and gentlemen, he won the inaugural Steve Miserak Championship. He's sponsored by Pool Dues Sports Bar out of Morgan City, Louisiana. It's Rob Saez. Thank you so much. His opponent's from Chinese Taipei. He's sponsored by Predator. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning and defending international nine ball open champion. Would you please welcome Chang Yung Lin. All right, gentlemen, would you please come and lag for the break at this time? I'm going to send it upstairs to the booth to the best in the business, Mark Wilson and our very own Hall of Famer, Danny DiLiberto. Take it away, Mark. We are here in Norfolk, Virginia at the second annual International Open. Welcome back, friends and pool fans. We have our defending champion, Chang Jun Lin, versus uh, American journeyman, veteran, Rob Saez. Alongside me, Hall of Famer, Danny DiLiberto. My name is Mark Wilson, and Danny, it looks like uh, Chang has won the lag. Well, the lag for the first game isn't as big as if it were a short match. Okay, Chang now set to break, breaking from the extreme right side of the box, the break box, trying to make the one on the side. Made the one on the side. Cue ball has drifted way down in front of the head. Here comes the two ball. Well, I think he's going to play a safe. I don't think he's supposed to shoot this. It's not a an easy shot, but the safe looks like the play. Don't you think, Mark? Uh, I think he's going to shoot. He's pretty oh, close boy. to it. And he figures to run out if he makes this. Oh, if he makes it, but it's not the favorite to make it, I don't think. But he's a great player, of course. I wouldn't shoot it, but I don't shoot straight. Well, he shot it and made it. So you shot right it. twice now. <laughs> well, that was a. Here's the thing with great players: you hate to play a safety and have them kick it and then leave you tough, and you might not get it that good of a shot next time. So, this guy's a shooter, and if he misses, you don't have to sell out. No, you're right. That was probably easier than the two. By far. But he didn't uh, lose his head. Saez has a, a hit, but I don't think he has a shot. We're going to see a safety play here, I believe. Rob, he's kind of a funny guy. He always cues way off the ball, and then he'll come back to center on the last stroke. It's an odd way to play. That's what Jersey Red used to do. He was way off center, and then the final stroke, he went to the center. Yeah. I always liken it to uh, he's trying to sneak up on the cue ball type of thing. Well, he left the cut. Position is probably tougher than the shot. Got a lot of obstructions. Mm-hmm. We couldn't have been more impressed with this guy last year. Oh, I was impressed with him every time I saw him, but you're the one who knew about him. I didn't. Great player. Look at that shot. My goodness. With control. And perfect. 
Yeah. Great. But we could see a lot of great shots with this guy. Yeah, it takes an exceptional performance to win this tournament because you're going to be tested every match along the way. There is no right. easy draws. We got 100 players in here, and most of them are killers. Well, I think he's going to have to hit rails here. For position, the shot is easy, but the position is the big part of this game right here. Well, he got there a little thinner than he would like, but I don't think he has to worry about position. Two rails past the eight. Perfect. Very routine nine ball now for a one game lead here. The opening frame goes to Chang. One zero is our score. We're using the Outsville racking template, all ball fouls, race to 11, winter breaks. Big money tournament. Yeah, two losses and out. This guy is very tough to beat. Yeah, the, the thing with him, he does not make many unforced errors. Right. Uh, he makes good decisions and supports it with good execution, and not that he never misses, but it's pretty rare. He can wheel a ball in from downtown. <laughs> Amazing talent. Great cue uh, ball control. I always liken the, the degree of concentration to that of a Himalayan monk. A Himalayan monk? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, look, wait, where do you see someone how he, he can almost will the balls in? It's a, it's a dimension of focus that is a very uncommon. It takes years to train to the, be able to focus that. Intensely. And they get a lot of training, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They have like a club they play every day. They gunfight with the best players every day, for sure. Second look at his break, rack number two, playing the one ball in the side pocket. Just missed. It's a compliant break. Let's see. Well, he Three, didn't sell five. out. Well, he he, has, he made a ball. Well, he didn't sell out to himself. <laughs> yeah, disappointed about that. But he's looking like the one ball does pass the four. It does, but the position, again, is the tough part of this shot. It looks like the one passes the four. What is that, the four? Mm-hmm. Well, I think he runs into the eight. For that very reason, he may choose to not play offense and just go safety and try to minimize his exposure to an unforced error. Yeah, good judgment, all because of the eight, I think. That was one of the factors. Good speed there as he moved the one ball about uh, 11 feet and moved the cue ball about four feet. Now, Rob can hit it, but he's a long ways away to be able to do anything. He may no, try I'm, to... Yeah, you got to play safe here. Well, yeah, he may try to put the one ball right back where he's at now, but it's close to double kiss territory if he does so and try to introduce the five and the nine as blockers. No, that's not what he's doing. He's going to bring the cue ball back down table. 
Well, he missed the kiss and he controlled Whitey pretty good. I think he can kick hit it. No bargain there. Each opportunity at the table, both players try to maximize whatever percentage play that they can get. That's why they take a little bit of time on a shot that's not quite straightforward to an amateur. Soft kick. Good oh, distance. he didn't scratch. Good control of everything. Yep. Not an accident. Tough hit here. Looks like he's gonna jump it. Yeah, I don't care about the jump. Solid contact. Pretty good job with the cue ball. Now it looks like uh, Chang may have to jump. This be one of those. He's getting his jump cue. One of those long arcing jump shots. Reminiscent of a five iron to the green from 200 yards. He's got to launch this quite a ways, but he is going to make a heavy impact on the one. Oh, which he'll probably make it. Call there. Well, he made it. He's got a backward cut on the two. But where does the cue ball go? It's going to be tough to get to the three. Might not be worth shooting. Good point. I might bank at the nine and just put the cue ball long. Just trying to play safe, just like Danny suggested. Banking the two ball over by the nine. Look at that shot. Beautiful. Boy, tried to tuck it right in behind the eight. Yeah, but I think he's got an edge. I think he can hit the two. Might even bank it. Well, he kicked, hit it. Good control of the cue ball. He snuckered him. Good time to do that. Yeah, that was a good shot. Where he was at to turn it around, where he's for sure going to get another turn at the table unless Chang can make something happen from nothing. It's possible to billiard the two into the side pocket off the three. Yeah, he's, if he does that, he's going to have to use the little reverse on the cue ball to do that. I don't think it's a natural hit. But the main thing is hit it. Anything's better than ball in hand. Well, he tried it. He hit the three. So Rob's going to be uh, rewarded here for a good kick safe. Yeah. It's ball in hand here. Pretty easy layout. up with the extreme left and then he kills it.
perfect. Got the right angle to go to the gate. Don't want to get straight though. He's got an angle to go two rails, I believe. Cheat the pocket a little. Good shot. Hit the heart of the pocket. Our score is now tied at one game apiece. Good run out there to get on the board. Ed Ladawi sitting ringside. Ed's a good dude. Owner of Sandcastle Billiards, Edison, New Jersey. I was just there. It's good to have you alongside, Danny. Good to be alongside there. Yep. My longtime broadcast partner, Danny DeLoberto. Yeah, you're a good commentator, pal, and you do all the research work. You know the age, where they're from, their background. You're real good at all that. Rob opts to go to the extreme left side of the break box as he faces the table. He also will be playing the one on the side, the cut break, low left English. One ball drifted high. A little wide. We're playing the three-point rule on the break. He did make a uh, compliant break, but he did not make a ball. Explain that. Okay. The three-point rule works like this. Uh, three balls must cross the head string. Should you make a ball, one less ball has to cross the head string. Should you make two, then that rule is waived and two balls counts as a compliant break. In the event that you make a non-compliant break, your opponent can accept the table as is or pass it back. Neither player in that circumstance can push out. Well, what do you do here? Do you cinch the one and cut the two on down the corner? Or do you play safe after that? Yeah, it's it, it's not an easy position because the eight's so close. You'd have to get pretty thin to cut the two in the corner. Well, so I think the, the decision is to play safe here or on the next ball. <clears throat> Unless you want to try to bank the two. Yeah, he could always do that. Oh, I don't know about this. He did none of the things we said. Well, I think he was playing for the bank because he went in there with some pretty good pace knowing that it wasn't going to leave an easy cut. He's going to play safe here. Not really. Good shot. Yeah, made a real good shot there. I didn't think he could hit enough of it, but he could. Combination on the five. Hit it good. Well, is he going to draw the ball or just... I think he can stun it uh, down along the long rail there. And just... Oh, he did, yeah. That's a good shot. Nice speed. Yeah, once again, Mark, you're playing very good. <laughs> well, these guys are for sure. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. Rob's made a, a start of a run out here that was not available. He created this. It all started with that decision to go ahead and play for the bank rather than try to be cute and play a safety year. It was an aggressive decision, but I guess he figures, you know, you got to do something here if you want to beat... Chang. You're right. 
Cannot wait for Chang to beat himself. Perfect angle. No problems here. And a very classy, world-class run out there, Rob Saez. Just had a, just a crack of opportunity there and made something happen. Two to one is our score. Saez now edges in front, early stages of this match. Hardworking Kenny Schumann. Yeah, we have a great crew here. You got Julian, the staff, no, Patrick Fleming Jr. here making it happen. Peter Fleming was out there helping earlier. Actually, Pat Fleming. Okay, here we go. Rack number four about to begin. Sia is breaking. Well, that time he made the one. You know, I failed to mention, but the nine ball does win on the break, too. We're using the Outsville racking template. You cannot inspect the rack either, which is an interesting development. They used to let them look to see which side of the box they wanted to break from, and that's no longer available. Not sure that I agree with the rule, nor am I advocating it. I'm just explaining it. Well, there's one rule that I've been talking about for years. If a guy accidentally safes you, you could jump. But if he plays a good safe and snookers you, you can't jump. Simple rule. It looks like he could go one round, but it looks like he's wanting to kick at it three cushions so he can chip the two ball down by the eight. No pushing out. <laughs> I think he left the cut. I think he could make the ball on the side. Where yeah. does the cue ball go? Well, we know it goes into the eight, and then after that, where does it go? But He's going to shoot. You know yeah, that. if he feels like he can make it, he's definitely going to shoot. Oh, he's going to make this. And if he does, then that's just a uh, not a good push out. You were right. He went right into the eight, but he has a shot on the four. Yep. Not easy, but you're going to get rewarded if you make it. The fact is, if you just make the ball, you have position. So that makes the shot play. Uh, it makes a difficult shot just a little bit less You're difficult. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. And it's a testament how good the tables play if yeah. you can roll that in without it going off. Great shot. Yeah, he glided that one in like he wasn't worried about making or missing. A very smooth delivery. Great player. People ask me about who the best player today is. This is this is my man right here. You're and right. We talked about that 
uh, before. There's flashier players out there, but I don't think there's more consistent players. I know we got, you know, you, you picked him over a whole bunch of killers, including Filler from Germany. <laughs> Our score is now tied at two apiece. And for everybody watching, when you observe Chang, he has a very simple and compact stroke, and you'll not see any elbow degradation on any stroke. And oftentimes you'll hear other players advocate, you know, oh, you got to drop your elbow to help your follow through or get some more spin or something. Well, anyone, the one that's never been scientifically proven because the tip only remains in contact with the cue ball for a thousandth of a second. But furthermore, anyone that thinks the elbow collapse is absolutely necessary. <laughs> Here's my man right here, and you can just go ahead and take him off. <laughs> I'm laughing because I never thought of stuff like that. Well, some of that is the doings of Dr. Dave and Bob Jewett, because none of us knew what the actual time was. But it's a very important span of time. It's not relevant in the rest of your life, but that one one-thousandth of a second is important. And that's where you gain spin volume, accuracy, and speed control, which translates into confidence once it's the same. Well, he made the one inside. It's a compliant and, break. Yeah, and he's got a shot on the two. Got to hit it pretty soft. But I think he'll handle it. And uh, super testy little shot right here in front of him. It it looks straightforward. You think, yeah, not too bad. Just roll it in. But when you get up there at that angle, and these are four and three eighths inch pockets, it's no joke. You're gonna have to hit it pure. And this is when that real compact stroke really pays dividends. Keeping your head still also helps. In the first day of the tournament, the pockets are a little bigger. Oops, went in. Gorgeous. Just cut to the pocket, expanded the margin of error based on the speed. Well, he's going to have to go forward, take a long shot on the four. Want to no. get straight in on it. He has a hint of an angle on the three, but he'd really have to fire to uh, move the cue ball back to the center of the table. And the issue now is not so much the position on the four ball, but rather getting from the four to the six. He went and looked at it. He's playing for it right now. He wants to get straight. He got a little angle. A little more angle than he really wanted, I think, because based on where he put the cue ball, I think he was trying to get the 6-9 combination, but now getting straight on the 6-9 is not an easy task because he has a severe cut. He's got to hit rails if he does that. The combination's not too bad if you're on angle. The combination's yeah. brutal if you're off angle. You're right. Still hasn't made up his mind what he wants to do. Well, that's what he does well. When he has one of those decisions that's a bit ambiguous, he stops and concentrates and makes sure that's what he wants to do, and then he sets about executing it with full commitment. Look at oh, this shot. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Oh, World-class shot right there. Heck with the combination, he said, I'm going to play position for the six. You know, the cue ball couldn't have landed worse for sure. where he got You're it right, to. But... If it goes an inch short or inch longer, much better result. Now he's going to be super tested yet again. Well, he's going to have to hit the rail in front of the side and go one rail to the seven. That's what he's going to do, I believe. Good speed. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well, now you see world-class pool right here. Opened up with a testy little two ball. Now he's carved the rack into where he has it at his mercy. Quality break and run out here. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but he did it. And 
Very nice as Brinkman run out puts him in the front. Three games to two. Chang towels off his shaft here. Great job. Yep, Chang Jun Lin. He's a serious dude. He is. Yeah, he is a pure and killer. I guess this is his only income, too, so he better be perfect because we got 100 great players here. Yeah, I think one of the things that makes him special is that the passion for the sport is supersedes his interest in money. He actually loves pool and works at it every day like a, a professional, like an artist, too. And many of the American pros are a bit sloppier and lazier in their preparation because it's based on money and they're discontent with the meager amounts that's available. But the landlord wants money. Yes, uh, our whole <laughs> life we need it. But if that's your priority, you don't have the drive and passion to really do what needs to be done to hang with this guy. Three twos our score. Yeah, one. starting to range in on the one. Here comes the two back down. It has to be racked on oh, the back no. of the rack. No good. He does not have a shot on the two. He doesn't even have a bank. So whatever he decides, I'm going to go with him as being the right decision. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, I heard Ken Schumann declare push out, so... He's just determining where he wants to go. Looking out in our crowd, we have some very interested onlookers all the way from New York. We have Mandy and Dan are here. <laughs> Tip of the cap. Glad to have them along. Serious pool fans. Help me out with some details on my research, Danny. I know. You have a lot of help. I do. Yeah, thank goodness. A lot of times these matches get burst upon us where you don't have much time to do research. So, And then and sometimes you hate to bother the players right before they're practicing or as they're practicing to play. Distract them from their focus. Well, he definitely can hit the ball. I mean, is he looking to see if it goes in the side? I don't think that angle is good. That's what he was looking at. He, he gave it back. So apparently it must not be too easy a shot. In no, the right. I think it's one of these testy little safeties that you, you hate to lose trying to play safe, make the other guy he has to shoot it. And then conversely, it's much easier for Chang to play a difficult safety because he has to play. There's no option for him. So it's kind of that weird dynamic. <laughs> I like cutting it and leave the cue ball long and let him go. Because you don't have to get to the three if you make the two. But, mm -hmm. but the two could be blocked if he does what I said. But he's doing something else. Well, that's Look at the, that. He got the yeah. cue ball down there. He's he trying to get it behind him. the four. Now that is Pinned real it. dirty. <laughs> that was a good shot to move the balls at yeah, that velocity. It was dirty. Of course, I'm kidding, folks. Great shot. Yeah, powerful shot. It's, Rob's going to just have to hit it and hope something happens. He did hit it. And the cue ball got unlucky. Oh, that's a shame. He made a good hit, mm -hmm. but now he's going to have to rack him again, I believe, shortly. Danny and I have a great view from the uh, Aramith Simonis. Nine Ball Arena here at Sheraton Waterside Hotel, Norfolk, yeah. Virginia. We're way above, and we got the best seat in the house.
good shot. And the good shot about it is he left the angle now to go to the five. That's what it's about, folks, not just making the ball, but giving the cue ball the right angle to go to the next one. Look out eight. Yeah, he's not going to like it, I don't think. No. Nope. Got a little flat if he can see the whole ball. Not sure where he was going. I thought he would stay topside of that and preserve a bigger angle. Now it looks, kind of looked like maybe he was trying to get down below it. Well, if he could make it, it's going to be a tough position. Yeah, he likes it. So it's two cushions forward. Probably be three cushions by the time it's all over with. Cue ball come over by the side. Oh, just look at that seven. stroke. Perfect. He couldn't have done it better with his hand. No, beautiful shot. Left an angle, too, to go to the seven. Put himself right back in line here with that shot. You know, I want to say uh, there's nothing more compelling for me than to see players that are super interested in the game. We had the player meeting here last night. I watched Chang practice a bit here. I then went over to Q Master Billiards to play a little bit. And Shane Van Boning was over there hitting balls for the four hours I was there the entirety of the time. But Chang came in and was also hitting balls last night. That's how keenly interested they are. Well, Mark's mentioning the cue master. That is where the tournament was years ago. One of the greatest pool rooms in the United States, I have to tell you. And I was bragging to my friend, you're not going to believe this place, 50 tables. We got there, 75 tables, and most yeah. of them going. And you how know. many bars? Oh, I don't know. I don't count that. I don't and care. they got food. <laughs> yeah, they do have good food. And now our score is four games to two. And in the most interesting fashion, uh, Chang ran out, Broken ran out. Then now in this rack, Broke played a killer safety, which Rob Saez made a good shot to hit, but inadvertently scratched. And now yet another game has gone by, so... Chang comes back from 2-1 to one behind the 4-2 in front. And what you're saying is Saez is behind 4-2 to two without doing much wrong. Right, right. But that's how it works with Chang. Yeah, there's our rack track verifying what I just said. But, and that's it. I mean, you've got to make something happen because he's going to create some damage there. And it all started from that push out when he played that great safety on the two ball where the cue ball lodged up against the four that you declared as a dirty shot meaning a great shot. Yep. And that was a very, very difficult safety to get, too, because you had to you had to change the direction the cue ball naturally wanted to go and then use the right speed as well. Well, I don't think difficult is in Chang's <laughs> no. repertoire. Well, he's got that down. Better not let him win too many games because he's going to make the one in the side now probably every time. And he's playing it, folks. It's not an accident. <clears throat> Last night I also watched Jason Shaw practicing with Chris Melling, and uh, that was most interesting. I've never seen Jason play better, and uh, he's a dynamic shot maker, and he's he you know, developed all sides of the game, but I was watching him last night. Oh, my goodness, impressive. And effortless. You know, he makes hard shots look easy and power shots look easy. It's, it's, I've never seen that combination like that before. Even on tight pocket tables, he does that. <laughs> yeah. I saw him do it against... Uh, Johnny Morrow in a match with tight pockets. He ran out like it was a little bar table. Yeah. yeah Great he's the player. Only, well, he's the only guy I ever see that really can overpower any equipment. It yeah. never just doesn't seem to affect him at all. And he's from Scotland, folks. Moved to New York, and he dominated it, the players in New York. Now he lives in Connecticut. He's got two beautiful kids. He's very happy to be here, and he's a pretty good guy. Tough push out, and uh, oh, I like, look at that shot! I like he the got decision. Him good. No, I think he can hit it. I think you he think can even so? bank it. But yeah, he's not buried. 
Oh, yeah, you're right. But I like the idea that the Rob wasn't just going to give it back to him, and he wasn't going to take on a crazy cut on the two. It didn't turn out his way. Is Chang stunning the cue ball by the nine? Is that it hit heavy on the two? What's he doing here? Yeah. Oh, look at that hit. Yeah, well, got away from no, him a little bit, but the idea was it. good. I, I approve of that for sure. But Pretty he controlled. Knew that if he didn't snook him, he wasn't going to sell out a gimme. No, exactly. That's part of the logic to good pool. And he could have really hampered him had he left the cue ball behind the nine. It just trickled out, but the speed on the two was good, so it's buried on the end rail, forcing Rob to play defense. Rob's winding up like he's going to try to put the cue ball over there by the six. Is that it? Yep. Well, you didn't quite get him. No, that's I not like, going to be strong enough. I like that shot banking it perpendicular. You don't want to leave this guy anything. Well, especially not this. I mean, it's not an easy shot, but it's just well within his scope. Of, I mean, we'll be surprised if he doesn't make it, put it that the way. position is automatic. Which makes the play a lot freer. Uh, you're comfortable. Because you know you can win with the shot. Boy. Yep. You know, we talk about Lassiter being a great nine ball player in the past, but he didn't have all this competition. That's true. I do think, though, had he had this competition, his game would have rose to that level as well. He was that competitive of a guy. Maybe. Right. He, he didn't have the exposure. So it's always when you compare different generations. I don't think it's fair to say. One time the great Nick Farner was here, and the guy said, you know, there's 10 guys that play like Lassiter in this field right now. And the guy walked away, and Nick looked at me, and he said, you know, that's a guy that's never saw Lasseter play then, <laughs> to say that. Yeah, but I did see him play, and I played him a bunch. So my opinion might be better than anybody's. Lasseter was a great player, but he didn't have this level of competition, like a hundred of them. But like you say, he might have rose to the occasion... Well, he was a competitive guy. He's not going to want to get beat on. I mean, he rarely ever lost back in that era. And he didn't even play straight pool. And then when he started playing it, he played great. He beat Crane to death. Crane, I thought, was the best straight pool player. Uh-oh. I think his speed's off there. Oh, no. Good. Speed's off right in as there. far as <laughs> Saez is concerned. <laughs> Just kept going, so that's an effective spin shot. Perfect. And our score now, five games to two. It's Chang is on a little flurry of games, four in a row. Two things happened here. Chang broke and ran out of rack in the middle of that, but then he played a good safety, got ball in hand, ran out, and then here, let's see how did this start. Was it a good safety here, or what was the, what did happen? Chang got back in. No, he, he played a bad save. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. Yeah, he didn't quite hook him. So Saez, really, I, I'm sure his TPA is not great, but he's played well. But just a couple little, just slight, Miscalculations and now bang, five to two. Well, Saez, like I said, he dominated nine ball in Florida when he lived there, but now he's getting the experience playing greater players. And you know about experience, it comes right after you needed it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the lesson comes after the test, is what Danny's saying. <laughs> One went oh, he way didn't long. Make it. Went way Amazing. long. He made something else though. Yeah, and he's got a shot. And it's a compliant break. No problem. One to the two. 
it does go by the six. Nicely calculated. Just get past the seven. You better be playing a lot every day to hit the pocket pure enough that you can gauge that speed and come that near to brushing a ball, yet not brush the ball. Well, he made it on the full side. That helped him control Whitey. Yeah, when he breaks them and he has a layout like this, you might as well have the rack in your hand. Perfect control. Nice speed to just draw that far down the table, to stun it down there and not overrun the mark there. If he gets on the end rail, it's a real problem. Coming up short is okay, but he fell just about perfect. May have to use draw here and come back one cushion back to the center of the table. Watch out, seven. No good. <laughs> perfect speed. Yep. Direction and speed control is a function of hitting the pocket pure. That stems from a super repeating stroke. And he's got a perfect angle to go one rail and shoot the seven in the same pocket. Well, he might have to play the eight and nine in the same pocket. Going to draw the ball. Beautiful. Carved through a nice rack there. This would be his second break and run out of the match. Expands his lead to four games. It's not over. And all Saez could do is watch and hope he gets a chance. But once you get four games behind with this guy, I think your hope is gone. Look it. Beat him five in a row. That's the rack track. Chang won the first game. Saez won two in a row. And now Chang has won five in a row. Okay, here we go. Rack number nine, about to begin. One in the side. Went way long last time. Yeah, but he adjusted. <laughs> Perfect. If the two ball gets up there now, it's not going to. Nah, not he enough. Never shot. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. <laughs> if he does, it's a thin hit. But I don't think he has and, to shoot it. Well, and, and doesn't really come with position. You'd have to run the cue ball in, through a lot of traffic. I'm just talking for the people watching it. And most of the public don't like to see safes. I'm like a uh, old school baseball fan. Pitching and defense and speed. Okay, in pool, I like the tactical side of the game. 
here's a good look at the look at the stroke elbow here that I've always talked about how it doesn't just budge it doesn't go downward look at that kick safety Beautiful speed kick and stick <laughs> got him world class I don't know if he could even hit the two without kicking and whether he can or can't it was a great attempt Well, he might be able to hit the edge. And, and that's the best he's, you can do with this. Well, he can. He's jumping, so we know he does not have a clean pass at the two. Unless well, he won the mass A. Yeah, it might go off the table. He hit it full to hold the cue ball, but then yeah. he double kissed. and Sleeping in the street now. Well, we can't fault him. He was hooked, so it's just... Oh, I just, know. But yeah, it's it's ugly when it turns out like this because it's he very. He hit it, and the two to the three to the four, it's a road map. We call it a road map, or connect the dots. Things are pretty wide open, and this is where the toughness, the mental focus, the tenacity of Chang. He just doesn't falter and make unforced errors on circumstances like this. Another good look at the elbow there. See, so delivers his cue. He's got a poker face. Well, he works hard. Good pressure player. Came a long way to play all these killer players, but he did every year. He won last year. Look at the speed. Yep. Not only the speed, you can reach the cue ball. That's also in the game. Speed control is not so much judgment based, but first you got to have a super tight repeating swing, and then the judgment can become good. If you have a random stroke that includes dramatic elbow collapse of various proportions, your speed control is never tight because it's always a slightly different speed of the movement. Mark, you're talking stuff. I never knew I had an elbow. <laughs> Look at how effortless that was. Yeah, that's the other thing. When you have a very efficient stroke, you do not waste energy. So you can hit the ball seemingly super soft, yet the cue ball travels a long way. Sailor used to call it effective spin had nothing to do with how hard you hit it. It was how much spin you generated with the minimum amount of force. This will be an interesting shot here. Yeah, he's got to miss the nine drawing it, which he did. That was a stun draw, not the effective draw. Because he didn't want to come straight back. Right, he didn't want to get hot and jerk back into the nine. He wanted to make sure he stayed on the side of the table. Wouldn't have minded traveling another foot with the cue ball because now it's just a little bit thin. He's trying to assess how he wants to get at the seven. It's not as easy to hold it straight at the seven. He's looking at what if I go two rails, three rails. Yeah, go to the side pocket. Yep. Better and speed. Better speed makes it easier to pocket the ball. I think he's going to decide. Not anymore. Watch out. Oh, look how perfect he got. Yeah, he didn't overdo it. He made sure once he elevated just slightly, just get it in, get the cue ball off the cushion. This is a super nice rack to win. Seven two is our score. And Chang is uh, really laying it down here. 
perfect. You yeah. want to watch pool played right? Watch this guy. Good decisions, great execution. I used to say that about Buddy Hall. He yeah. played perfect. Here we get uh, a look at the uh, total performance average, 955, wow. 63 balls, pocketed three errors. He's been 7 out of 7 on the break, Danny. That helps, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Get your offense going. And he's broken around out twice, and twice he's played a killer safety from making a ball on the break and got uh, won the game from it. So basically four games. Poor Rob Saez had no say in the outcome of it. And that's how you distinguish yourself against other great players is you can't let them play. You've got to dominate, which is just what uh, Chang has done since the score was 2-1 to one against him. See the time he takes here aiming and then set on this break? He, he's very meticulous about that, knowing that this sets up the whole offense. One in the side. I keep calling that, folks, because I don't want you to think it was an accident. But he doesn't have a shot at the two. I think he can fan it, which means hit it thin. But that also means the cue ball would be pretty hot and go into the, what is that, the, is that the five ball there? No, I think he'll go wide of the five if he does what I said. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That was a delicate little play right there. He he kind of used an economy of travel on the cue ball and got maximum production. Now, if Rob could hit the edge of the two, that would be good. No, I it sounds think like he, he's... No, think, he can kick and hit the... He can't cut it, but I think he can kick and hit it for sure. We're going to have a short player timeout this point. Rob does not want the match to get further out of hand, so he's going to take a little moment and regroup. Okay. Okay, okay we're back. Rob's, Rob Saez now forced to kick at the two. It's not an easy shot. We figure that he'll hit it, but not a, just an absolute gimme. Look at that nice hit. He hit it. He's and that's not going to get rewarded. But it's very difficult to get separation. It was just all you could do to hit the ball. So once again, Chang has uh, given himself an opportunity to win another game where Rob does not get much to say in the outcome. Try to ride the three ball down the rail oh, past the nine. Room. It's got room. Yet again, perfect angle management here. It uh, contributes to consistency because he doesn't have to make very many challenging shots. Yeah, just got to make this position is automatic. One rail past the eight. Oh, he drew right back. He got there. Chang does not present the dazzling firepower of a Jason Shaw, who looks like a guy out there just rifling balls from all odd angles, but he doesn't have to because he works so hard on position play. Yeah, we're going to see a draw. 
I kind of liken Chang to a boa constrictor, and he quietly gets a coil around you, and then you wiggle a little bit, make one little hint of an error, another coil goes around you, and pretty soon you're strangled to death. Well, you know what a boa constrictor, what they're doing in Florida? They're eating the alligators. They are. They're taking over the state. I thought that was the python. Well, oh. they're related anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> whichever. The, the boa constrictor here on our table is starting to eat the alligator. You're right. It's the Burmese, Burmese python. In either case, I don't want to deal with either one of them. Yeah. All right. Eight to two. And yet another win from the break, from a safety, force a kick, get a good shot, take care of business. Eight twos are score, Chang in front, putting on a nine ball clinic. It truly is a clinic. You people out there watching this should be better players after this. Well, he's up to 960, Danny. Oh 72 balls pocketed. I always mention this, but at the end of the day, show me the stats. All I need to see is how many balls are pocketed for each player, and I'll tell you who won, and it's 90% correct. The person that made the most balls wins any game that you play. Three errors, though, in 72 balls. Especially straight pull. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one pocket or bank, whatever, yeah. They're all, they're all related. Can you imagine 72 balls pocketed, three errors? And that's with, you know, Pat, who's very strict on his grading. I, I'm a little bit more lenient. I'd probably have him down for maybe one error. I remember in the first game he missed a ball. That was, he didn't leave much. Well, he didn't make it in the side this time. It's a compliant but break. The two went in the side. You know, I would not be completely surprised to see him bank this one ball. Oh, yeah. Position is there, and you don't have to sell out. It's a little bit thin, but and you saw how he walked to the other end of the table and kind of looked that angle back in. And I, just like what you were saying, Danny, you can win the game with this shot. you got to make a tough shot, but you can win the game with this shot. And you don't have to lose it. He's shooting it. No, I'm thinking he's playing safe. You think so? Yeah, I think the way he's queuing up, it looks like he's just going to roll it. No, he was playing it. Off to seven? No. <laughs> a lot of things could have turned out favorable. I think Rob does have a shot, but uh, Chang played it in such a way that a lot of good things could have happened for him. Well, Saez has a shot, but he needs a touchdown and a two-pointer. <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. Well, he I think he it. was playing the billiard. Yeah. He, didn't, he, he hit it a little full. Got the kiss. So now he's going to go to a position that he's been used to, sitting there watching Chang run out. And truly, after a guy puts a flurry on you like that, sometimes you, you hate to come to the table and play safe, too. You know, I mean, <laughs> Not when you're yeah. <laughs> seven games behind or six. And haven't got to shoot much. You want to try to make something happen. We saw him make something happen in game number, what was that, game number three? No, game number, was it game number one? Where he made that good bank shot and got out. No, that was his second win, so yeah. Game number three it was. But since then, Rob has hardly been to the table except to kick and hit it. Well, really, we got a lot of good players here, but drawing this guy in your first match was a little unfortunate. Chang looks to see if the five ball would possibly go in the side. He's got that real flat angle where he has to force something here, Danny. And by flat angle, I mean almost no angle.
Oh, he went for the side and got there. Good control. That's what I tell people. Don't try to hit balls to open them if they go somewhere. Play where they go, and you'll be a better player in the long run. I think the other part of it is if you don't like where you get that way, what you're saying, you can still defend yourself and play right. a safety. Just don't miss. Look how clean he hits oh, that. Pretty. What a pretty little shot right there. Got the perfect angle now to go to the seven. He could even go straight, but I think he'll hit a rail. He went straight and got perfect. And it's a painless match for Saez because later he can't even say, I should have did this, should have done that. Mm -hmm. He couldn't. No, right. That's very clinical. Look at how soft he hit that and got good. I truly do not recall anyone being more consistent than Chang Junlin. Just devastating. 9-2 is our score. Rob maybe did try an aggressive billiard shot that time, and that's why I'm saying it's like the bow constrictor starts squeezing and squeezing, and then they force you it. Now another coil gets around. Now you're down another game. And you can get desperate in a situation. There's Chang, very calm, relaxing. Yeah, looking at his face, if he just came in, you couldn't tell if he's winning or losing. And, and that includes when the rare time happens that he is losing, you can't tell. But <laughs> we've only seen it a couple times. I mean, he just puts up 900s almost every match. He's way the favorite to put up a plus 900 match to under 900. Not many players you can say that about. The two ball mandated to be racked on the very back of the rack so it goes flying down the table. Oh, look at this. It went off the point of the side. I never could figure out how that happens. You, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. How does that happen? And Push the one ball all the way down the rail into the far corner pocket. Off the point. Mm-hmm. Has to hit it just the right angle. Here's an occasion where he'll play an off-angle bank, but it's because it has offensive and defensive ramifications yeah. attached to it. That yeah, position is there if he makes it. And if he misses it, likely to leave it very difficult for Rob. If he Pretty. misses what? <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> I think he has another bank shot now. You don't think he could spin this in? It looks like, well, it's hard to tell, but it looks like he's up table a little bit too much. Uh, maybe you're right. I think he could spin it in. Okay. The bank is not really an easy shot because no. the kiss is there. Right. It's not easy to get the cue ball back across for spin the four. Spin it in. I think he's going to shoot it. He spun it. He overcut it. Uh, he didn't spin it. In the, uh, no, not at all. He just cut it. But I, He cut it pretty good. He hit yeah. the paint. <laughs> it's hard to overcut a ball. You know, I mean, he hit it pretty hard and it didn't have enough energy. That's how thin he hit that purposefully. That was not by random. It was going right in the heart of the pocket. He just didn't have enough energy on it. Well, Saez, you got a chance, but I don't think you can get seven games in one. But you gotta, you gotta go ahead and do what you could with this one. Right, right. You gotta get one first before you get seven. 
because even if you lose this game, you'll be playing single elimination, so you would like to quit in stroke. Yeah, I'd like to see that shot that he didn't spin and like that. Look at that. He hit it. <laughs> that was the, the thickness of one of my gray hairs to hit it that way. Oh, you got was... gray hair? I know I do. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this speed. What a... And he's, yeah, he I think he there. cut it and, mm -hmm. and billiard the seven. Oh, maybe. Oh, you don't have to shoot. Well, maybe. Uh, but it, it, yeah. You definitely want to shoot. You're about tired of playing this kicking and He's safety. He's playing safe. He's playing the right shot no matter what the score. And look, he left him over the top. <laughs> By design. Yeah. But it wouldn't shock me if Shang goes two rails to the seven and makes the six. Mm -mm. No, I don't think he's shooting. I think he's going to play safe here. Try to overcut I'm the not six. Sure of that yet. Okay. Well, there's a scratch in the shot too. If he tries to go don't after think it. So. Let's see what he does. Well, you were almost right, and I was almost right. He almost made the six, and he almost scratched. That's two almost on one shot. Mm. Yeah. He didn't hit it as thin as he hoped. But it didn't turn no, out listen, unfavorable. Look what he left. Right. I know. If he banks it, he doesn't get position. Oh, harder he would have made the nine. Mm -hmm. Well, does Chang shoot the nine? Mm -hmm. No. 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 no he's, I don't know if we can. He's looking at trying to bank it cross corner if, or across side if it goes past the eight. I think it will because you're going to stiffen the ball shooting that speed. But it's not worth shooting at all. Play safe. You've done pretty good with the right shots. Well, he shot the bank, got position. But left it tough when he missed. Brutally tough. Uh, I remember when when beginning playing, you'd say, the only way I get position is if I missed. <laughs> <laughs> remember ever saying that? Yeah, I mean, no, it certainly I felt that way. pretty smart. Mm, solid contact, but he got yeah. a double kiss and brought both balls together down table, so... Now we're going to see a stroke. I think you go three rails to the seven. I don't see you doing it one rail. Three rails be perfect, especially where the eight is. He's winding up to go three rails. No, now he's drawing the ball. Well, he's got such a stroke, he could draw one rail. Wow, wow. he overstroked yeah. it. You got there. Great yeah. shot. Whew. That's the first ball we've hit. I've uh, seen him hit super hard. Hit that three times the power he used on the next closest shot to that. Well, he's going to be on the hill now. See, folks, if you've got an angle, you don't have to shoot hard. It's on the hill. Playing a 926, Danny. That'll win the tournament. Yep. But, folks, we've seen a great match here so far, but we're going to see a lot of them. These are the best players in the world.
I know my friend Big Mike at the Classic Q in Buffalo is loving this. This will be Chang's last break of the match. One in the side. I'll call it again. <laughs> That's compliant. The two ball kind of lays up over the side pocket, and he has an open layout here. Not an easy rack to run, but a, certainly doable. Getting to the three will be a little bit of the, the, the big test here early in the rack. He goes over to see what would happen if I just roll this in and back cut the three. Could I get position on the four that way rather than try to fight well, going around the table? Well, he reverse and to control the cue ball, but re, re, I think he'll handle it. Yeah. I think he can spin forward with left-hand English, get to the three. Looks like he's coming around three rails. Maybe. Not enough speed. Does it pass the eight? Or is he shooting the nine? <laughs> Look where he got. Does the three go by the nine? No. It might. If not, hmm. fire the nine in. Draw the ball. I don't think that. I think if he plays the nine, the cue ball's going to trickle over there by the eight if he if he has that shot. And primarily, this would yeah, be a shot that you're playing the cue ball. just to make it exciting for the viewing <laughs> audience. He didn't even bother with trying to do that. He just wanted so, to play the cue ball totally. Yeah. And he did. That's wow. a killer. He's ahead 10-2, to 2, and he played safe. That's commendable. Nice hit there. Well, you left the cut. Yeah, that's that's the circumstance for this match for Rob. He has to come and make a good shot to even hit the ball and hope that he doesn't sell out from it. He's definitely shooting and making. Position was tough, but he didn't snooker himself. I don't think. I think he can fan it, which means hit it thin. You'd have to use some left side spin to get the cue ball back up by the six, if that's what you're... Intent yeah, was. Can, that's the direction he's going. Might even snooker him with six. Well, part one is hit the ball first. Too tough. Oh, he didn't. Great shot. Too tough. Conservative play. Left the bank. Maybe. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, this ball banks, and it has position. Except not. He went in the joint, maybe. Oh, he, sn he corner hooked him. Boy, what wow. a genius shot. <laughs> <laughs> Good speed. Looks to me like he's got a kind of half mass A around the six. <laughs> what a nice hit. And good yep. for Rob Saez. He's earned this ball in hand by forcing Chang to kick. Three cushions. Well, I think I know how he's thinking. I got to try to win yet because 
it might switch around the way he lost all those games he can win them mm -hmm. yeah, that's how you gotta think anyway yeah, and Chang once again played the shot the best that he could he got a pass the nine made a hit but then inadvertently scratched off the third cushion after hitting the ball Just this nine ball for Rob Saez's third win in this set. Our score is 10 to three. Well, Saez made a good safe when he corner hooked him. I want to see how he did that without scratching. I think we could see that again. The bank was definitely not laying that easy if he was able to hit it the way he did that thin. Here we go, Danny. There it is. Wow. It looked gruesome at that point, but then they hit the rail and just these... Just corner hooked them. Four and three-eighths inch pockets. Yeah. Then he made a pretty good hit here, didn't he? Uh, excellent. Yeah, three-rail kick. He hit it. He got past the nine, hit it, and then but it scratched across the table into the side pocket. And that was... Uh, Rob had forced the issue by playing that good safety. I would like to get a little something generated from the break here. One ball ranged in. Made the cue ball too, though. Ugh. I think now he can start figuring out his attack on the loser side. Control, yeah. Perfect. Nice long two rail travel perfect. there. Perfect. You just need an angle on the six to get to the seven. And he got that. Perfect angle to go one rail to the eight. Match ball. And there we have it. 11-3 is our final on 925 TPA. This has been an AccuStats video publication. Any rebroadcast or republication without AccuStats express written consent is expressly prohibited. So long for just a while.